hi guys good morning welcome back once again to my channel hold on a second let me quickly turn off my my data because i'm not in to buy data for because i can use data for five days 30 gigas for five days or less of if i'm not careful with it being the fact for the fact we are in nigeria actually i must say hi nigeria style hello mama don't touch don't touch the camera so i'm in nigeria and since i came in um it's been prophecies upon prophecies it's been positive prophecies actually about nigeria and anytime i'm i'm telling people uh and if, i don't know i will stop even worrying about people uh, when god tell me prophecy i will say it out because it needs to be proclaimed then it come to pass whether people believe it or not it's gonna come to pass and you can see it, those tribulations that we've been talking about many of them are coming to pass people are going through trauma different things you know i don't even know where to start in this video but let us just kick the stats. I don't even I didn't even plan for this video. As you can see, I couldn't start the video with like a sportive way, but here we are. Mama, don't distract me, please. I have a message to give. So I have I, I've been giving so many prophecies, especially positive prophecies about Nigeria, about coming back home and etc. So guys, hmm. Idolatry is something that God cannot tolerate. And you know he has said this many times in the Bible that he does not um he doesn't um what's it called? He doesn't he can't tolerate rivals. And you know many traditions, many churches actually practice idolatry and many churches know that they do, but they don't mind, they continue doing it because there's somebody that is backing them up and saying what they're doing is okay. For example, the Catholic Church, the most famous church in the world that everybody has actually told them about it and they don't believe it. Even when I was there, I did not believe it until God dealt the heck out of me. He so beat, he panabited me with suffering until I opened my eyes. It's very dangerous to play a game with God. If he wants you to work with him, it's going to make you play, you will play deadly games with him until you repent. Mm. And if you want, you be using your life. It's just like using your life and be scratching, shh, scratching your life on the ground. Remember Jonah? What Jonah did when God was calling him? He tried to kill. He tried to kill himself, and God did not let him die. Instead, He made him to go through death without dying. Do you understand? That's how God. That's how God forces people. He makes you go through death without dying. Because if he really wants you to work for him, that's what he's going to put you through so much. But if you are wise, you will wake up earlier. Shh. If you are wise, you would wake up earlier. So that you don't have to go through so much tribulations before you listen. You know, be good. Nah. Uh -uh. What's going happen? So, me and my friend, though, before I came, arrived here in the UK. Eh, we were watching a video. I will mention it because I don't even know how this video is going to go but I'm glad that I was not the only one feeling that way about it when you lost somebody eh, when you lost someone it's good to mourn the person and let the person be don't mourn the person and keep carrying that person like carrying the person and doing so many things because I've told you people before I think it's on Facebook I mentioned this on one of my lives that if somebody dies, taking flowers to them, God considers this as an idolatry because that thing is useless then. Taking flowers to the grave is an idolatry. Going to pray on a grave is idolatry. Leave the person alone. The person has already died. If the person was here or the person is still, the dead body was still here, you could pray and God would resurrect the person from dead if he wants the person to be alive. If not, careful. If not, let that person's soul rest. Yes. I like. I understand the, the the meaning of losing somebody. It's something that I fear so much. But 
instead of fearing right now i pray about it instead of fearing to lose anybody i pray for them i pray that god keeps them safe i pray that god keeps them alive if they are doing the right thing god will definitely keep them alive if they are doing the right thing god will keep them alive and in good health exactly how you pray for them but if they're not doing the right thing and you're helping them and praying god can actually sustain their life to a certain point but you have to be in alignment with God if you want God to really answer your prayer a hundred percent. Many times we might have to wait and all of that, but I don't want to divert. In this video, they were mourning a child that was lost and they actually cremated the baby to ashes and they were pouring the ashes all over their compound. That video was not sitting well with my spirit. I was so troubled with the video and I cannot... I can't go and comment on the comment section. I, I, you, something even tell me to go and write to the person. I feel like it will be causing, like, it's more and more of drama than. So I'm going to mention this in this video so that people will not go and make the same mistakes. If you have lost your mother, you have lost anybody in your family. I've lost somebody that was so important in my life that, you know, I've always complained, I've always cried that people don't really value me and all of those kind of things that I used to feel since my family and everything. And there was somebody that really treated me so right for once in my life that I really got the treatment that I really wanted. But that person died. And that was my, my maternal grandmother. She was the kindest person I've ever known. The period I was mourning her, I mourned this woman more than my mother that I even lost her directly because she was so kind to me. So it was so annoying when she died. I did not accept it. And then if you see the mental health that this thing, that was the first time I went through this mental stress thing. When I was in my secondary school, when I was about to leave secondary school. And then it affected my exams and all of that. That would be a story for another day. All the morning I did, all those tears, it did not bring her back. All the crying, I had headache that was unnecessary. Something that would be striking in my head like, like electric. I was going nuts because of I lost somebody. The person has already gone. If they have buried the person and God does not want the person to come back, the person will not come back, no matter what you do. So let the dead be. I saw in that video they were pouring the baby's, the baby's ash all over the place. Ah, it, was, it doesn't sit well. It's idolatry. It's irritating. You are invoking spirits because it's, even if there is any spirit that comes, if you want the baby so bad, pray to God to bring the baby back in, in, in another form, like in a human form or whatever. Not the baby's just like, you just like as a human, a full grown person now dies and then you born the person and you start, you don't know that we are spirits. We are already spirits even without dying. We are spirits. So you're going to be making somebody's soul not to rest and then, making spirits that like to be involved because spirits like to be involved with human beings they like to be involved they like to put themselves they need a body to react like you are causing unnecessary invoke invoking of demons in your environment and you are pouring it around the house it's not the child spirit that will be there it is demons that will be there because that's what you are invoking that thing is so unright, so not good at all. When somebody dies, just pray, let, pray that they come back to life. Like the best thing you can do for someone when somebody dies is to pray that they can come back to life. If the person is so good, if you can pray until it happens, then do that. If you have done your best and it did not, con it did not, it did not happen, let that person be. Because any other thing that you do will be provoking demons in your life. So let's be very careful with the kind of wishes that we wish. Because I've come across somebody that lost his mother. He's a grown-up person. Lost his mother for many years ago. And he's still mourning her till date. Like it's been almost... It's been almost 10 years. And every time I come in his house, I can sense her presence. And it's a negative energy. It's not her. It's the demons that he keeps angry. He's angry that he lost his mother for how many years? The mother is still... The mother's... The evil spirits that are backing his anger, his loss for the mother is the one that is present around him, not, not the mother. The mother can never come back to life. So mourn the person and let the person be. Don't go, don't go do too much. Don't go take flowers to them. Don't go do this. 
Somebody said that is honoring them. You are worshipping them. That is what God said. It's not what I said. It is what God said. It is what God said. Let the dead be. Let the dead bury their dead. The Bible said it. Let them be. If you like life, enjoy life now. And let live the life you want to live. This is the end time and all of that. So... In the end, like we are already at the end already of the whole story. So why why provoking more demons upon all the stress going on in the world? It's just for your own good. Just just stop um so causing unnecessary trauma for yourself because you are stressing your life and and you are actually annoying God. It's irritating even in the sight of human beings. If you have the spirit of discernment, you would know that that is bad. Just pray. I'm praying that you get a, a child like as, as precious as the one you lost. That it will be like you never lost anyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's my prayer. Pero, don't, don't go doing too much because you lost somebody. Because the outcome is usually bad. I'm telling you, that's why anytime something happens, check around you again what happened. Check why, like when when weird occurrences happen, go back again in a little bit of the past or whatever and check why is this thing happening? Did I do something? Did something go wrong? Go make research by yourself in the spirit and be checking the reasons for your actions so that you can tell what is causing something many times. You need to be aware. I just need you to be very aware of every of your actions. That's all I can tell you, Sha. Ah! So that's it, Sha. I hope you have a good day. And yeah, just stop every form of idolatry because you are really irritating God and He does not take pity for idol idol worshippers of any form at all. If you like, let your preacher tell you another thing. You are not a fool. You understand English. You understand the Bible. So you should use your wisdom very well and come out of that that idolatry because it's like idiotism in the sight of God. After after worshiping idols and still calling Jesus name and you still go to hell, you tell me what's the need of calling Jesus in the first place instead of you cutting out completely. So we are not even here to preach about you stopping. If you want to stop, if you want to continue, continue whatever is going on in your life, you know. The D day is coming when the reckoning is gonna come. I'm glad for the way God is handling things. Even in the midst of the storm, God's people are calm. We are calm. No matter what is going on, we're good. And our environment will always be good because we will never be harmed. Because we are the reason for the season. Hello, in the name of Jesus. So yeah. God God help you. God help all of us. Just be wise and be obedient to God if you like or if you don't like, do what you want and see the results. There's always results. That's why when you're going to tribulations, check around. Am I still doing the wrong thing? If you're doing the wrong thing, how do you expect that tribulation to stop? Tell me. If you're not obedient, how do you expect that tribulation to stop? Enjoy your day. God bless you. I love you. I come with love. So much love and peace, okay? Not with war, but I can come for war if you want it. Anyone you want, I've got it. I've got it all in my bag. Okay? God be with you forever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good day. Please like, share, comment if this video inspired you one way or the other. It did inspire me. And I'm going to like and share and comment. And I hope you do so too. I love you. Bye. Mama say bye. <laughs> good girl.